Hello everyone. Have you ever wondered why China has become the world leader in sturgeon farming? This billion dollar industry, accounting for over 60% of global production, offers incredibly attractive investment opportunities. Today, we'll explore how China has built a modern sturgeon farming system, the challenges it faces, its enormous economic potential, and how it has reshaped the global caviar market. If you're interested in agricultural business models and promising investment opportunities, hit like and subscribe right now. Sturgeon is not only a high-value fish, but also a symbol of luxury, thanks to its caviar. The global caviar market is worth over $4 billion annually, and China has become the world's top producer. In 2023, China produced over 1,000 tons of caviar, capturing 60% of the global market share and continues to expand. Chinese caviar brands like Kaluga Queen have appeared in Michelin-starred restaurants and are becoming formidable competitors to European producers. Only healthy, defect-free sturgeon with fast growth rates are selected for breeding. Breeds such as Beluga, Kaluga, Siberian, and Amur are commonly used for their premium caviar quality. Before being placed into farming tanks, sturgeon undergo disease screening and quarantine to ensure they are healthy. Broodstock sturgeon are raised in highly controlled environments with optimal nutrition to enhance reproductive capacity. Artificial fertilization is commonly used in hatcheries to ensure a high hatch rate. Fertilized eggs are incubated in specialized tanks with gentle water flow to mimic natural conditions. After 7 to 14 days, larvae hatch and are raised in temperature-controlled clean water environments. Sturgeon thrive in clean water with temperatures between 10 to 20 degrees Celsius. China utilizes pristine water sources from the Himalayas and high-altitude regions like Sichuan and Guizhou. Closed-loop water systems help control water quality, reduce pollution, and optimize production. Automated feeding systems with specialized nutrition formulas promote rapid growth and meet export standards. AI and water sensors monitor environmental conditions and detect issues like disease early. Humane caviar extraction methods allow sturgeon to continue reproducing, ensuring a sustainable income stream. Modern indoor farms in China use smart electronic systems to monitor water conditions, automatically adjusting temperature, oxygen levels, and lighting. Some advanced farms have integrated solar panels on rooftops to power operations, saving energy and reducing environmental impact. Sturgeon are highly sensitive to fungi, bacteria, and parasites. Solutions. Vaccination. Controlled stocking density and improved water filtration systems. Some small-scale farms export low-quality caviar, damaging the national brand. Solution. The Chinese government has tightened quality control processes, allowing only certified farms to export. Sturgeon are raised for seven to 10 years before reaching the size required for caviar extraction. Ultrasound is used to check the maturity of the eggs. Eggs are sorted by size. 2.5 to 3.5 millimeters, and color, black, yellow, gray, to ensure the highest standards. Workers must undergo disinfection showers and wear sterile protective gear, including clothing, gloves, masks, and safety boots. Hands must be thoroughly sanitized before entering the processing area. The egg extraction area is a sterile room maintained at low temperatures to preserve the freshness of the caviar. Some farms use a gentle surgical method. 
making a small incision in the fish's belly to extract the eggs without killing the sturgeon. The eggs are carefully removed to avoid damaging the individual grains. If the traditional method is used, the fish is fully gutted and the eggs are manually extracted. After extraction, the eggs are passed through a specialized sieve to remove fat, membranes, and impurities. Only intact, uniformly sized, and evenly colored eggs are retained. The caviar is sorted by color and size before being washed. The eggs are rinsed with cold purified water to remove any remaining impurities. The caviar is then salted with a 3 to 5% salt ratio to enhance flavor and act as a natural preservative. The mixture is gently stirred to ensure even salt distribution without damaging the eggs. After salting, the caviar is vacuum sealed in tin cans or glass jars. The containers are sealed and labeled according to export standards. The caviar is stored at temperatures between minus two degrees Celsius and four degrees Celsius to maintain freshness. Heat product undergoes microbiological testing according to ISO and HACCP standards to ensure it is free from bacterial contamination. Only caviar that meets the standards is approved for export and distribution to the market. Chinese brands are aggressively expanding into the U.S. market with internationally certified products. The price of Chinese caviar ranges from $3,000 to $8,000 per kilogram, making it more affordable than European caviar while maintaining comparable quality. Through this video, we've seen the enormous potential of China's sturgeon farming industry. It's not just a multi-billion dollar economic sector, but also a blend of technology, environmental protection, and smart business practices. If you find this model interesting and want to learn more about business opportunities, leave a comment below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.